Okay guys, it is 89 according to my watch. What time is it Ash? 11? 11? 11.30? Oh yeah, 11.18 and it's 89 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Left the dogs with all their fan one. Ash is in shorts and I'm in flowy pants, that proves how hot it is for me to go out in these again. We're heading to Apple Store. Oh, that wall's coming along. <laughs> yeah. Sign of the times. I'm gonna sing to you guys. Actually, I'm not gonna be putting this to music, so. Walk down to the Apple Store. She got it. Who is <laughs> really warm? The, I actually got my zooming question answered. It's now 92 degrees, guys, at 12 o'clock. Lady, you should have just come into us, but actually, I can't tell what it is without. Oh, I thought ours was flashing too. Yeah. And the next one comes in and then they match us and then they leave. Yeah. I want to get a um, tinted moisturizer as opposed to foundation right now. You mean all such? What did Are I say? You Kohl's? I said Kohl's and then over to. Did Kohl's. I. I said Kohl's over to Kohl's? I think so. <laughs> Kohl's and then over to Ulta. I said Ulta and then over to Kohl's <laughs> to get tinted moisturizer. <laughs> I know, I heard Kohl's and then tinted moisturizer. Yeah. Oh, that's awful. Oh my god. Yeah, that was awful. Yeah, that I hope you're doing well. I look like a mess. I've been watching. I probably have mascara everywhere. Oh well. Um, been watching this parenthood and having a good old cry, and um, it just brings up things. And one of the one of the women in it um, found breast cancer, and you know just her the way she was going through it and the biopsy and stuff. <coughs> And I had a scare several years ago, about five years ago now, I think, maybe six. And it was really frightening. It was right before Christmas and I went to the gyno, had my appointment. And uh, I found the lump and pointed it out and they checked me and it frightened me because my doctor was like, you need to go get this checked out as soon as possible. I'm going to make an appointment for you with the um, 
this other doctor who I went to see two days later and then she's like yep we need to get this out and I think it was the following Monday or Tuesday I had a biopsy done and everything was okay but it was a scare and then you're waiting for your results and stuff like that but they just do it so well in this show that it just brings up those feelings again and it you know it is scary and stuff like that and I said yesterday I got all weepy because it was family and I miss my family and stuff that it's just it's about two sisters two brothers the mum and dad and then each brother and sister has their own family and all the goings on so it's like a huge family thing and it's just like how they all rally around and get together when one person is having problems they're all there for them and it's just really cool and I have watched this whole series before I think on the later seasons I may have missed a couple of the six seasons but I've been watching this non-stop on Netflix I'm on season four and it's just a brilliant brilliant show so if you do have Netflix and you've never watched Parenthood definitely give it a go I was gutted when they did the finale and they weren't bringing it back Plus, one of the sisters is played by the woman that was on Gilmore Girls, and I was addicted to Gilmore Girls. I got all the CDs, not CDs, VCR videotapes of the Gilmore Girls. I was that obsessed with it. And she plays kind of the same character in this as well. Single mom going through dating things and, you know, all the problems with the kids. I keep doing this like I'm a teacher. You probably can't even see that, though, because I'm doing it underneath the camera, so I don't know why. Anyway, um, I'm going to continue watching. Tomorrow night I'm going to dedicate to watching vlogs and getting caught up. I'm watching some tomorrow. Ash is off tomorrow so hopefully we'll go out and do some things. We did go out for a little bit today but not too long because she's working now. She had to be in for 6 and she's working till 11. Um, but tomorrow I need to, I would like to make a return to Nordstrom's, I don't know if Ash will be up to that or not, but maybe. We'll see. It's supposed to be another hot one. Pete and his brother and Ashley are going to put the boat in tomorrow night, so that'll be cool. So hopefully as soon as we can, we can all go for a ride. It is going to be a lot cooler this weekend. They said tomorrow's our last hot day, and then tomorrow night we're getting um, a lot cooler weather coming through. Not like cold, cold, but like cooler, fresh, fresh air, they said, which will be very nice. Um, Pete's put all the air conditioners in all the rooms, Ashley's, because poor Melly's in there like <gasps> So our rooms were on 94 when we got in today. That's how hot it was upstairs So he's put all the air conditioners in. I'm sweating like a pig. I do apologize um, He put all the, the air conditioners in They'll put the boat in tomorrow night and hopefully over the weekend we can all get out on it um, and have a ride because <laughs> next week <coughs> as you know there was not much footage of us going out on the boat last year even Pat and Matt and, and Paige didn't get out on it that much because everybody was so crazy busy over the last summer it was insane and um, the nights when Pete and Ash were home because she loves the water she loves to go fishing um, it was windy too windy and stuff um, all next week Pete's working every night he's got something going on so it will be a wait and see game he's just took them out louis has been laying in the basement on the cold floor smart dog i haven't got the ac on now it's, it says 84 but i'm sitting right in front of the fan and i've got that ceiling fan on as well so that's enough for now Oops, someone's car alarm is going off i missed putting my avon order in yesterday i didn't realize it was avon week i thought i just got my other order in I guess not. Anyway, I am starting to waffle, so I'm going to love and leave you guys for tonight. I hope everybody had a brilliant, brilliant Thursday. Whatever you guys did today, I hope it was a good one. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Come on, he's already panting. Look at him. Poor little soul. Roxy, too, was panting. You're not panting now, are you, bud? And I got in the